So I've been meaning to do a cheap USB mic thing for a while, but so like before we start, we need to qualify cheap. Because for people outside of a hobby, it can seem insane. It's fun when non-drummers see a similar go, oh, how much be expensive? Maybe, I don't know, $150, $200? Yeah, no. Like when people think of cheap, they think like, oh lord, mate, just go down to cashies, mate. Get to, oh no, my hot dog. Just get some of their genuine bootlegs, mate. There you go, mate. It's like high quality mic. So like this one time I was like, oh, it'd be fully sick to have my own like company, hey? Like not like to change the world or nothing, just like for the status to be like, yeah, I've got my own company, hey, and my big business. But like it's pretty hard though, because I'm pretty sure my dog makes more money than me. Oh, it actually wasn't that bad. I don't know what to believe in anymore. You know, people see the price of top end microphones and go, wait, just for the microphone. And it's like, yeah, just for the microphone. They're like an instrument in of themselves. <laughs> but my channel runs out of a conventionally cheap setup. My mic is an Audio-Technica AT2020. It's a professional staple and hey, it's under 150 buck. Yeah, but that's just for the mic. No stand, no cable, no nothing. So to record to a computer, you need a USB interface. You can get something like a Focusrite, or in my case, I got a small desk, a Yamaha AG06. It has phantom power, which the AT2020 needs. It has multiple inputs, so I can record any old MP3 plays into it if I want to. And it runs off of the USB connection itself, so no wall power needed. Worth every dollar he do. And it's just an iPad running GarageBand. <laughs> USB interface is just plugging and go. It's a beautiful thing. I like to use GarageBand because with audio and recording, you have something called compression, which basically makes the quiet parts loud and the loud parts quiet. The adjustment is almost infinite. You can have a little, you can have a lot, and it's different for every application or instrument. I'm not an audio engineer, so I don't know how to set it up right, but I just press the narrator setting in GarageBand and boom, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the best free app on the planet. Even iPhones can do it. So in terms of cost for my setup, you know, taking the iPad out of the equation because you can literally use any old computer for audio, it's so low stress compared to video. But all in, my cheap setup is still quite a few hundred bucks, you know. <laughs> but you guys want proper budget. And I literally simulated like, what if you need a USB mic right now? Well, I literally just drove down to JB Hi-Fi, picked out three of them, and they're all under a hundred bucks. Or well, one hundred if you want to talk real technical. So up first is the Samson Meteor Mic. At a quite nice price at 69 bucks, or 0.69 hunch. On the box, for the price, I immediately looked at this and went, ah, yuck. It's gonna be some big plastic chrome thing. I hate plastic chrome. It's technically a science marvel, but I think it feels and looks like junk sometimes. Um, no. This boy is chrome steel and is one of the densest nuggets I've held. Look at these legs, man. Look, it can even lean and tilt. How neat is it? And on the bottom, that is a standard microphone thread. So you can stick this on any microphone stand and you can get them for like 25 bucks. I mean, they suck, please get a good one, but you could get one for 25 bucks. Mini USB. Yes, of course it came with a cable just to add to the 300 billion I now have. And so you're probably looking at this going, well, what's the big deal? So it's just like a cheap microphone, right? So instead of 150 bucks, it's like 69, and then you plug this into the interface. Uh, no. This has a built-in USB interface. That's what the mini USB is for. So yeah, this is just an all-in-one guy. Bang, plug, yell. The headphone jack on the back is so you can monitor your own recording as you're recording. Uh, yeah, this isn't to adjust the volume of your recording, that's to adjust the volume of the headphones. Yeah, you have to actually go into settings to adjust that sort of stuff. Which is one of the benefits of having a desk, is I can just immediately do it. But hey mate, this boy be cheap. And uh, yeah, it's a microphone, so you know, I gotta yell into it. So like, I actually managed to score a loan, mate, for my business. Like, I actually found someone who loaned me money, and it's like super kind of them, they actually believe in me, mate. I'm not gonna let him down, and like, I've loaned money, it's from my dog, mate. I told you, he's got more money than me. So there is the slightest little bit of USB noise going on. It's really subtle and it's just something that you got to deal with sometimes with USB recording. I've had some desks do it as well. But hey, I think it sounds great. Even better, I have not been fair in any of these recordings that you're going to be hearing. I literally just pulled it out of the box, plugged it into my MacBook, opened voice memos, not even GarageBand, and then I laid on the couch in my lounge room and just talked. Like a big echoey lounge room. If they can handle my crappy room, man, they can handle anything. Oh, and party piece. Look at that.
It is so robust. You can just chuck that in your bag and just take it with you everywhere. No battery needed, USB in, off you go. We'll yell more at this guy later. Let's move on to the next budget boy. So for 0.89 hunch, mate, we got the Thron Max Pulse. Now looking at this box, I thought it was just gonna be I don't know, like a little dingus guy that just sits almost like like a laptop accessory or something. No way, it's a big boy. <laughs> this is proper. Like desktop sized. USB-C. Yeah, baby, thank you. Really good length on it. You know, it's for a desktop setup. Um, it's very modern gamer looking. It's metal too. Nice tripod, all adjustable. You can angle this dangle how you, or however you want it for angle. I'm just making up words, but fun little touch. It is lighting. You know, if you're doing streaming and this helps out your aesthetic, then awesome. You know, it's at the back where, you know, the streaming camera is going to be seeing it. And also I get it. It's just fun. It's nice to sit in the room that looks cool and that you want to sit in it and having nice, nice, beautiful lighting everywhere that all fits in. You know, I'm a fan. And when you mute, it do the, the red. So like I finally put together my business strategy to show to my new donor. Like, who's my dog? It was like, I told you, she makes more money than me, eh? But like, I put all together, mate, it all came to me in a dream. Like, wait, mate, no one's done this before, mate. Yeah, you're gonna have to sit down, this is revolutionary. Like, what if people just show up to my house, mate, and like, just give me all their money? And like, cause then like, there's no product to make or to like, to maintain, and there's no like, boxes and marketing, mate. Like, it's literally just free money, why hasn't someone thought of it? And so like, I pitched it to her, hey, and like, she bit me. Yep. It's a mic. It's picking up more of the room with its like echoey reflective walls and things, but it's still nice and clear. Haven't used any compression or any like special tricks yet. Just smash through macOS voice memos. But here's the extra thing. This guy is claiming noise cancellation. And hey, we all hate the guy who's gaming online with the fan blowing on them. And it's just going <laughs> So, you know, I had to put a fan right up against this mic, mate, and have a quick play with the settings. So like I'm standing outside on a windy day, hey, because like open up the door, mate, like to go and do a poo, because I don't have a toilet. And like my donor's just legged it, mate. Like she's just gone straight out the door, hey. Like I don't get it, mate. Like I give her all this love and attention and like only pressure to invest in my terrible company every five minutes. Not a big deal. And like mate, I've just opened up the door and she's gone. The company's destroyed, mate. Hang on, I'm gonna sit in the car for a minute. Why? Is anyone gonna like donate me like two dollars that I found under the couch and like pushed in front of my dog and just pretended that like she's the donor? Oh no, I've lost the two dollars. Yeah, it loses a lot of volume. I, obviously, you wouldn't be switching between them like that. You know, if you were actually using it, it'd be one way or the other. And so like you just bump up the gain to compensate. Uh, when I turn up the volume myself to listen to it, you can hear it's pretty grainy and artifacty. But it did take the fan out. Hey, look, if you're doing some sort of hectic compound raid in Russia and it's just people yelling constantly and you just got to be audible yeah there it is it's like for the money it was already a neat microphone you know the fact that it comes with everything you need just to plug in and get going the noise cancelling attempt was just a happy little bonus whether you use it or not although that said uh, the volume wheel is goobage it just feels like it's doing nothing give me the samson nugget wheel any day yeah and this wheel talks over usb so it's actually sending signals to the computer that changed the volume there <laughs> but when i first plugged this in like the headphones nearly blew my head off with my own voice like and it, this wouldn't do anything and had to be in preferences to make it do the right thing so maybe that works better for streamers who need like that usb control for stuff i, I don't know so the last one is the daddy it's the blue snowball this thing has been out since 2005 i mean it is proof that like in audio if it is good it stays good hd 600s are from 1997 my favorite headphones my stacks are from like 1981 good is good but these are kind of feeling their age now <laughs> because look at this no headphone out to monitor your sound you, this guy has it the nugget mic has a it's just a fugly old mini usb this guy's allowed to have it because it's 0.69 hunch this guy's like 20 bucks more and you get the usb c but this guy was 97 this is the most expensive one and it has the least features so like my dog finally came back mate which is super sick hey turns out she went to the bank mate to get the two bucks out because she safely deposited for me which is amazing but like developing story mate like i don't have a dog like it turns out i'm just so cooked mate i forgot it's my little cousin mate anything under waist high is just a dog to me mate and no she still won't invest in the company it sounds great but it is the most expensive i mean the tripod's good but this here is noisy 
Oh. Oh, oh, that was crunchy. Yeah, that feels like crap, man. The thing is, you know, like, everyone's kind of caught up, you know? Like, audio's had a huge advantage over video. I mean, the bootlegs, they were perfectly serviceable. I wouldn't record a voiceover for a feature film on these, but you could ring your nan and she could understand you. You know, for less money, you can have lighting, USB-C, and output monitoring. And like, height-wise, like, it still sits on a desk just as much this guy be a nugget. But there is another element to these microphones, right? Being budget equipment, these guys kind of have a little bit of a responsibility because these could be the spark to the kindling of a passion, hobby, and or future career. My first video recorder was a Zoom one to record me playing the drums like 10 years ago for my first goes at YouTubing. Those devices were the spark that got me to, to where I am. But what I'm getting to is like the documentation that comes with these to help you use them because like recording voices and audio, you know, you need degrees with that stuff to do it professionally. Like the, the Pulse, it's roadmap style, my favorite. I mean, it just says, you know, plug it in. I, I can't read this guys. Like, you couldn't have picked the worst. <laughs> it's impossible to read. Uh, all this is telling you is basically, it's selling you the thing again. You know, volume up and down, USB-C, basic instructions on how to like find it, which is cool. I mean, that is how you find it. And then on the back, it's basically the exact same thing. <laughs> Only it's Windies. Um, and that's really it. I mean, it's just to tell you how to just plug it in and start yelling. <laughs> Worse is the blue. Yeah, congratulations on your purchase. Yeah, the fastest, easiest way to get high quality. It's like they're selling it to you after you've bought it. Don't do that. Plug it in the computer. Audacity, garage bed. Yeah. Gives you this technical readout, which is dumb because then it just sells it to you even more. You know, impress your podcast subscribers and take your Twitch channel to the professional level and you know, capture high quality audio. It's like they're telling you nothing, nothing on how to make them those sound good and then boom you're done next language like that's it that's all they give you all of this crap look at that same thing again yeah thanks for the technical readout which doesn't mean anything to anyone do you want to see the master class in manuals oh my gosh mate it's the little dingus metal nugget old mate samson yeah you ready introduction blah 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 it sells it to you a little bit you know what the boy's all about what's inside of it the basics connecting to a computer like a quick start guide but then recording techniques and recording techniques for your microphone. That's why this paperwork's so important. Each one of these is picking up slightly different stuff from slightly different distances. What does your mic need? Vocals, acoustic guitar, piano, explaining proximity effect, recording a full band. Oh, look, it's giving you that information too. And little details like this. Yeah, number two, windscreen. Dual stage grill protects the capsule and helps reduce wind noise and P popping that little explanation of popping just t you know popping is where it's like p p and it peeks out the mic this thing's a pop filter a really cheap one so little touches like that that is a fantastic manual the blue one really disappoints me because the yeti came with a good manual so you guys know what a good manual is like you've just kind of you just kind of parked it, I suppose. Like, people are just buying it because it's so well known. But, oh man, that Bubby Samson. So, in conclusion, the Blue is a great mic. If you go on these, you've got a great mic. But at this price point, like, having a few little extra features is just really worth it because cheap microphones have caught up. Because, like, if you wanted something, like, more hardcore, you could get their Blue Yeti. Or... Audio Technica make USB AT 2020s. So yeah, like th the next stage up isn't that far away. <laughs> this mic works great and it's got way more features if you want like a desktop guy. But I gotta say, as a versatile all-rounder, if you need a microphone like to carry around with you, I I love that. And <laughs> watch this. <laughs> I've stolen your legs. I've become far stronger than you could have ever imagined. New, 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 new. It looks like a spaceship launch pad now. <laughs> but how cheap and how well built it is and that fantastic manual it comes with as like a first start to like recording audio and whatnot. Gosh, and they make like really great cheap open backs as well. How dare they? Maybe it's my dongle causing the USB noise. I don't know. It's still a great little cheap lad. It even comes with an egg bag. Amazing. Well. 
that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because my $1 a month I direct to videos, since the topic is gaming and like RGBing and whatnot, mate. You know, I, you know I'm gonna take you to the pinnacle of it. We're playing Horses on the GBA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if this thing works properly. Oh wow, these book cells are soft. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we can play horses. So, thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. Guys, my dog's got a glitch. Like, its bum's here, but then, like, it, its head's down, like, here. Like, how does that work? Frank, where'd the middle of you go?